Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Nathan Graham. Um, how are we getting on? Oh, I'm not too bad. Training hard like normal. Uh, clock's ticking. Obviously, we, want, we need another fight in. So, obviously, Mervyn's putting on his show. So, we're good to go. I'm going to go back to where it started for you. You went six fights unbeaten. Um, how was it, you know, sort of coming away from that first loss after such a great start to the professional career? Uh, for myself, it was a great learning experience. Um, as you know, I never really had an amateur career. I come into it late. So, obviously, um, I'm learning my career as I go along. So, that was one of my good learning curves for myself. Going on from there, prize fighter come up for yourself. Um, and then, uh, what a dream, you know, to be able to share the ring with someone like Junior Witter. Uh, how did you see, wh what did you think, you know, when the, when the draw was made and you saw your name match with someone like himself? When, when they originally said it to me, they said uh, the names that were in it, and y you just know. I knew from, like, the luck I've got, I said, I know who I've got. So, but for myself, I'm, I'm not a coward. Um, a lot of people in the competition I know already did not want to fight the guy. Me, I'll fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. I don't care where they've been or what their record is, it makes no difference to me. Anybody who wants to fight, I'll fight anybody. It's even now, I'll, I'll fight anybody. Paul, as stupid as it sounds, Paul Mayweather out, the, out, out of his retirement, I'm not a coward. I'm not saying I'm gonna go in there and win. I'm, I'm, I don't ever claim to be the best boxer there is. But anybody, anybody who wants to fight me, I'm down. I'm, <laughs> I live to fight, that's my life. I've been fighting since I was a kid. My dad's a two-time ex-world champion, kickboxer. I've grown up fighting. I'm not scared to take on anybody, as stupid as it sounds, any weight. <laughs> Look at our man, our man at the moment of, uh, on fire is Fury. Yeah. As big as he is, don't get it twisted if Mervyn told me that's your next fight. That's my next fight. I'm not scared to fight anyone. Anybody's anybody. It makes no difference to me. Going on from there, you um, went on, got a draw in your first um, area title fight. Yep. And then you went on and won the area title. Yep. Obviously, unfortunately, you've now gone on and lost the area title. So yep. sort of You've done a bit of everything in the area area ranks. Um, what did you make of you know the loss, and wh where do you see yourself going forwards? The whole facade was with the Southern Area title. If it if it's looked at properly, everybody knows what happened. I know what happened. The people I fought for the Southern Area title know what happened. Anybody watching know what happened. I'm I'm not here just to badmouth anybody or anything like that. But the people who were there who watched the fight. The people who are fought, they know what happened for the Southern Era title. Like I said again, if anybody wants it again, shh, call Mervyn. I'm, uh, give me give me two weeks' notice. Like the first time I took it, I took it on short notice. I'll take it again. You're obviously in the gym today, um, back training. Did you have any time off over Christmas? And are you are you still ticking over? Is there any dates or anything? True professionals never have time off. I'm always working. I'm always ready to go. As soon as I get an opportunity, I'm ready to eat it. Like I said, the first time the Southern Area title come my way, it was on short notice. Yep, I'm ready. Give me two weeks notice, I'm ready for anything. Just let me know. So you say you're, so you're ready, but is there any dates in mind? Um, I've obviously still got to talk to Mervyn, but I believe March is um, an option for us. So obviously I'm fired up for that. <laughs>